The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. d5 occupies the center and controls the e4 and c4 squares. c4 attacks the d5 pawn, daring black to to trade on c4, if this trade occurs then white will have two center pawns versus black's one center pawn. d4 takes space in the center and controls the e3 and c3 squares. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. And c6 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. E5 adds a defender to the d4 pawn and opens the diagonal for the queen and bishop to develop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. Master Games It is the last book move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a knight. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is excellent. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. Very precise. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.